dear Mr. Fischler. Um, Mr. Gergan Persson said, it is not so hard to find out what to do, the hard thing is to do it, as Mr. Leitl mentioned earlier. Are Austrian politicians strong enough to do something? Well, I think uh, there's no simple answer to that, uh, because first of all, uh, it has to be clarified uh, what does it mean to do it, uh, what is needed that things are done. Uh, I think uh, there, is, there are some weaknesses in Austria, and in Austria there is a certain tendency to try always to find a kind of harmony and uh, not to be aggressive and uh, not uh, to, to uh, exacerbate uh, discussions. Uh, but in the end, I think the real measurement uh, for the success is then also the outcome and the reality what's happening. And here uh, the performance of Austria is not so bad. It's uh, maybe after the Scandinavian countries the best performance in the central part of Europe. So can this be achieved with a great coalition? Uh, the Great Coalition has advantages and has uh, also big disadvantages. I think for in a modern society, uh, the big coalition is not an ideal form to solve big problems. Uh, it was always said also when we saw in Germany a big coalition that a big coalition is necessary in uh, difficult situations to do big reforms. But what happened? Quite the opposite. Uh, it is uh, the risk always uh, that both parts of this big coalition uh, block each other. And uh, we can see this, for example, uh, in the Austrian discussion about uh, the future of our education system, or we can see this also when it comes to the discussion about tax reform, should one include into a reform also green elements or uh, should one include also capital taxation or a stricter uh, capital taxation? Uh, here uh, is then the one side of the government is in favor of the ecological uh, tax reform and the other side uh, uh, in favor of uh, the uh, taxation of the capital. And uh, the, uh, the compromise is that uh, both is not happening. And uh, here you can see the disadvantages. So therefore, I think it would be better to have another form of coalition. But to achieve this would require a reform of uh, the Austrian uh, election system. Yesterday, Alan Greenspan even said that he sees the end of the Eurozone coming. And also here we heard a few arguments for and against it. What is your opinion to that? Well, uh, I think this is a very risky statement because in this context very often uh, such uh, statements are becoming self-fulfilling prophecies. And uh, I think what we should discuss more is how we can avoid this risk or at least reduce uh, these risks. And this is possible, uh, but it requires also here encouraged politicians and here maybe more at the European level than at the national level. This is what Madame Lunacek also wants. She wants to think more European. Do you think that that is possible in a European skeptical country like Austria? Well, I think European thinking is not enough. What we need is European action. And uh, I'm convinced that uh, if uh, we have at the European level good concepts, if we can demonstrate the benefit for the citizens, that the citizens will accept it. I, I'm not so uh, convinced that the Austrian skepticism about the European Union is uh, something uh, not changeable. Do you think the European Union is taken seriously enough in Austria? Well, I think that the European Union as such uh, is the problem. Uh, the problem is how the national politi politics and uh, the national politicians uh, deal with European issues. I mean, if, uh, if uh, a politician all the time argues that for all the measures necessary, which are, uh, which are a, a bit a burden, 
this is something coming from Brussels and the, all the positive messages, this is a, a, a national invention. I mean, if you, if you do it that way, then you can't be surprised <laughs> that the citizens think, well, uh, I think uh, uh, Europe is not a good thing. Talking about uh, national debt, um, we heard before that the better the democracy, the less the national debt. Austria's debt within the European average, uh, Austria's debt is within the European average. Is the Austrian democracy also average? Well, uh, it's maybe not <laughs> not an appropriate comparison, but uh, in the end, I think it's not so wrong. Yeah, uh, although we in Austria have a certain tendency uh, always to try to argue that we are better than all the others and that we are world champion here and there, but the reality is uh, far from that. We are an average country with an average situation and I think uh, this is not the worst. Uh, uh, if we can keep uh, the average, then I think it's quite an achievement. There is a rumor of a pension reform in Austria. Maybe it's a soft pension reform, like one year per decade. Do you think that is possible or is Mr. Leitl's proposal better? Well, I think, uh, I personally think uh, that uh, one, uh, to add one year in a decade is, is really almost nothing. Yeah? Uh, and I think uh, we will not be able to go down that road because if we would do that, then I think uh, we will have enormous financing problems. I think it is necessary that we have a higher rate of employ employed people and uh, there are only two ways to achieve this. The one is that you uh, make uh, the duration of the, your active, uh, of your working phase longer and the other one is uh, that you try to, f uh, to find ways how uh, Though how parts, at least, of those who are unemployed, for whatever reasons, are more employed in the future. And the last question, how would you fight the deficit in three points? Like, the three main points. Where? The deficit where? Our deficit. In Austria, you yes. mean? Uh, okay, uh, well, uh, I think the deficit re reduction, first of all, has two sides, yeah? uh, the expenditure side and the tax side. Uh, if we look at the expenditure side, then uh, it is really uh, necessary to speed up the, uh, the reforms. Uh, I think there are many ways to reduce expenditures without harming uh, parts of our, uh, of our population. On the taxation side, I think we need a, a different structure uh, of our taxes. I'm absolutely in favor that we have a green component in the taxation system because here Austria is really underperforming compared with the average of the European Union and the same is also with the taxation of capital. Also here we are underperforming. The main tax burden is uh, coming uh, from uh, the income taxes and uh, I think here it would have many advantages uh, to change this because uh, at the same time one should not forget that uh, taxes are also signals to the economy uh, for example for technology development or for changing in uh, their behavior especially for example uh, the consumption of natural resources. If you have a higher price via a higher taxation of natural resources, it is absolutely obvious that then everybody starts thinking how can I reduce uh, my, uh, my natural resource consumption. Thank you very much Mr. Fischler.